you're a follower of Jesus, your destiny is persecution. Paul says that to the Thessalonians in chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. He says, we kept telling you that you're going to be persecuted. You will be persecuted. It's your destiny. Now, I know that can sound daunting, but actually there's a lot of positives when it comes to persecution. And just like when you go to the gym, I mean, there's a tearing down of, of muscle and there's a soreness as well. But then you go to the next level and your muscle grows. And with persecution and testing, so often we feel torn down and our self-reliance is destroyed, but then we shift and we learn how to grow in our faith and rely on God and be strong in times of trials and opposition. And so there's a building up. And I encourage you also to be more informed, to check out a ministry like Voice of the Martyrs, or to check out books like Jesus Freaks. There's so many uh, great things, resources, that you can learn about persecution, the past and the present. And so many Christians are being killed today, so many are being beaten and thrown in jail, that it's easy to never pray for them or think about them. But instead, God's word reminds us we are brothers and sisters and we need to be looking out for each other and lifting each other up. So take some steps today, whether it's reading, checking out statistics, Google search, but find out about the persecution that's happening. And then be reassured that this is part of our destiny and persecution increases the closer you get to Jesus returning. So let's pray then, let's pray fervently that God would give us boldness during persecution. it would be a time of great growth as well. So God does good things during persecution and uh, you can continue to trust him when it's most difficult.